and I call on International Service for Human Rights. Mr. Vice President. Mr. Vice President, the International Service for Human Rights and its partners in Burundi welcome the recent report of the United Nations Independent Investigation on Burundi. This distressing report confirms uh, the previous statements made by my organization that Burundian civil society actors, notably human rights defenders and journalists, have been primary targets of systematic repression by authorities. Human rights defenders continue to be at risk in an environment where gross human rights violations are systematic, patterned, and immunity is pervasive. We're concerned by the increasing reluctance from Burundian authorities to cooperate with the international human rights system, a recent example being the failure to appear and present replies at the special session of CAT, a move that the High Commissioner said was an unprecedented course of action by any state. It is time for the HRC to strongly consider if Burundi still deserves a seat at the world's human rights high table. The International Service is particularly disturbed by the conclusions of the report in paragraphs 127 128 that I quote, during the course of the investigation became clear that more and more people who would otherwise have confronted repression have fled the country or are too scared to speak out or take action. Any semblance of opposition to the government is dealt with ruthlessly and seemingly without fear of accountability. Mr. President, we call upon the Council's members to take decisive action on Burundi. This includes adopting a resolution that will establish a commission of inquiry. Lastly, the International Service urges the Council to schedule an urgent debate or special session to consider recommending that the General Assembly suspend Burundi, including light of its level of cooperation with any commission of inquiry. Thank you. I thank you, sir, for your statement.